Welcome, my name is Rosh, and I'm the co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI. And in this video, we're talking about the newly released Kling 2.5 Turbo. Now, there's no master, at least not as of yet, but the Turbo is supposed to be a lot more creative, costs about 30% less, and of course, being a Turbo, takes about half the time. I have a lot of comparisons to share, but one of them is a 2.0 master. The rest of them will be 2.1s for the most part compared to the new 2.5 turbo. And we can compare and see how much better or are they the same? I have some really difficult prompts as well as some standard prompts that we've used over and over to compare the progress of these AI video generators. But first, let's take a look at food. Food is often a tough one and 2.0 Master kind of got this right. Let's take a look. That was actually pretty good except for issues with uh, the uh, sizzling on the wood. But this is the same, we're going to use the exact same prompt with the new Turbo 2.5 and see how well it does. We'll copy, the, we'll copy this long prompt and give it a shot. And here it is with the 2.5 turbo. Here we are. Now the cutting wasn't very good, but actually pulling it up and taking a bite, that's pretty good if you think about it. These, these AIs have trouble with especially putting food into a subject's mouth and having them eat it. So. Very good. Let's let's try something else. Here's an image to video that I used for a liquid food series. Obviously, this being an exploding shake, and we just said bring it to life. And we did this across a number of platforms. Here's what we got with 2.1. Not too bad. Not sure where the orange juice came from, but I thought the explosion was pretty good. Let's see if it improves at all with the new turbo. And yeah, there is some sound in the background. I, I, I think it's good. I think, you know, ultimately it's about the same except for that sound in the background. That, that does not work. Um, they're not quite to uh, VO3 uh, yet with the sounds, but here we are. At the end of the day, I'm just going to call this one kind of equal. Let's do a harder one. Oh, before I do that, I just ran across the 2.1 master. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Good explosion and, and more reaction. It didn't grab a, uh, a glass of juice or anything like that. I think this one's pretty good. Maybe this one's a little bit better. There wasn't as much reaction in the 2.5 uh, and we're not sure where that extra straw came from that that's a uh, morphing issue but I don't know you you be the judge between these two this this is a tough call this one is another image to video but it's rather tough because I'm specifically asking the AI to have the lion jump over a fence and jumping over a fence can be a tough ask it doesn't always work out. That includes horses and other animals or even people. And this one is a lion jumping over a fence. It's 10 seconds and it's with 2.1 master. Let's see how it worked out. Get the background. No, not. And then it kind of goes off and it's the size isn't correct and didn't jump over the fence. Here's another version. No, it didn't. Yeah, not not so. A lot of morphing. Yeah, that didn't work. So here's another one. And we can get a fence. Oh, there it is. And nope. Out. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, that didn't work out. Let's see what 2.5 does. So here's 2.5. slow motion but look at that I think we're jumping over a fence that's pretty good 
So we'll give a 2.5 a solid win on that, although it's a little slower motion. I like, I like it, and it worked. Good job. Let's go to a classic of ours. One of the first prompts I ever used for comparison uh, is a husky running through a daisy field. And if you've seen any of my videos, you will have seen, you'll have seen this one. So let's take a look at 2.0 Master first. And you know, it's okay. It's okay. And this is 2.0. Here are some earlier days with 1.6. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I would rather see the other end of the Husky to be quite honest. Uh, but let's take a look at what we get with 2.5. Here's 2.5 and yeah, we have a little sound in the background, a little more appropriate than the other sounds. And the movement is excellent. Some of the best, one of the best scenes that I've seen, uh, with the Husky running through a daisy field, definitely solid. Uh, obviously, the sound, once again, not catching up with VO3. Uh, no one is really caught up yet, but the movement is excellent. Now, we have a number of prompt comparisons, some really tough prompts, as well as the models. So I have a couple, few more to go that really can show off what 2.5 can do. Mod model walking down a city street with a gold dress and silver gloves. And this is version 1.6. Let's take a look. And yeah, there's a lot of issues here in these early days of 1.6. But we also have a 2.1 master. Let's look at that. Much better. Nice light. So yeah, that's good, that's solid, and what we would expect from 2.1 Master. But what did 2.5 Turbo do? Again, we have the sound in the background, very natural, very good. I mean, what we'd expect. Again, the sound doesn't work well. I think if we created it again, let's do that. Let's just create another version. Copy it. And this is how we do the prompt, put it in here, or you can hit edit, and here it is. As you can see here, generate for 25 credits. That's really about maybe 30 cents. And if we go 10 seconds, it's 50, so maybe about 50 cents, and here we have our aspect ratios and the number of outputs. So if we do two outputs, it's 100. Let's do that. While we're waiting, we'll do a couple more comparisons. And this is simply bring an image to life. And very simply, just bring it to life, see what happens. And here is 2.1 Master. And I really thought this was good. This was a comparison among a number of different AIs at the time. And I thought this was one of the best just due to all the different colors, her walking back and forth. She's a little Diff, you know, not a lot of emotion or movement, but I, I still really like the light effect. Let's see what 2.5 came up with. Okay, here's 2.5 Turbo. We have some mood music, a little more motion, not more flashing lights in the background. I think ultimately it's a little bit better. I mean, I really like that flashing light, but look at the background, the movement in the background, the uh, displays, and she has a little more maybe personality-ish. Not a lot. I mean, she's still kind of stiff, I, I think, overall, but I think it's better. What do you think? Quickly back to the model. Uh, well, I guess I got some credits refunded, but the other one went, and here it is. And it's sounds more like a, <laughs> I don't know, platoon marching. But again, the natural flow of everything, it looks like a real scene. So I think it's well done. It's doing a really good job. Let's, really, let's get to those really tough prompts. Of This is a tough prompt that I've been using with a number of AIs, and they really have not done a great job. The Zero Gravity Cafe. 
And let's first take a look at what it did the first time when we're comparing against other AI platforms. Here is with 2.1 Master. In background, it wasn't that great. I think others did a better job. Oh yeah, and of course the mysterious hair at the top. Now let's take a look at 2.5. You know, I think things moved and floated away a little bit better, but the people are very stiff. And they didn't float. I mean, some of, the, I think, what was it that, was it um, Luma Labs in which people were buckling in for their zero gravity trip? So I would say physics wise, not too bad at all, but as far as creativity, no, I don't, I, I really don't think so. One more. So this one is the Hall of Mirrors. And some, some AIs have done well with it, some have not. It's still a very tough output. Let's take a look at the first. I have two from 2.1. Let's take a look. And then there's always that creepy guy. Let's take a look at the other one. This one, I don't know, kind of a little better. Now let's see. Now let's see what 2.5 does. This one is more in line with what Luma Labs Ray 3 was doing. And so I think it's definitely an upgrade from 2.1. So I think the logical conclusion is to now compare this upgrade 2.5 Turbo to Luma Labs Ray 3. That should be in a coming video. So what do you think? Is this a good upgrade from 2.1 to 2.5 Turbo? Or are you waiting for maybe the 2.5 master to render judgment? This is the faster version, but I see an upgrade here definitely between 2.1 master and the 2.5 turbo. But is it better than maybe the new Ray 3? Again, we'll definitely compare those in the near future. If you want to hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel as well as your favorite podcast location where we are two creative guys talking AI.